Good morning, everyone. Welcome back. And we're starting things off today as we usually do out here in the garden doing a quick harvest. I can't really think of anything that we need all this stuff for off the top of my head for the, the rest of this week, but it never hurts being oversupplied. And before we head out today, I'm just going to start laying in whatever I have here for concrete cubes. I have like around 50 of them. I have a whole bunch more crafting. It's just going to take a while because it's, um, it's not one of those things that only takes a few seconds. It takes several minutes to get concrete cubes. So I'll lay in what I have and we'll finish this off some other time later on today or tomorrow. All right, I got everything put away. I think we're going to head and do a quest here this morning. We have one at the, the stand tower. And back home, I've been crafting all morning, so I made myself a buggy, a V8 engine, the, the chassis and the accessories for the buggy. I made a supercharger, I made a whole bunch of electrical parts, we're making the concrete cube shapes and more concrete and cement. And I also took some points this morning into, I think it was science crafting, I took three points into that so that I could make the broadcast storage upgrade, which will basically allow us to craft materials without having those materials in our inventory, it'll pull them from the storages. So I crafted up, I think, six of those, and we'll set those up when we get back home. Alright, here it is, the stand tower, which is, ironically, not standing very well anymore. Well, I do have a mild abrasion right now. I don't think that's too big of a deal, but I'll take a first aid kit to patch it up anyway so we don't have to deal with it for quite as long. And let's hit it. Okay, it has been a long time since I've seen this place. In fact, I don't even know if I've ever really properly been here before. Some pretty sleepy zombies here though, I'll tell you that. Whoop, now I've woken a few up. So our goal today is to level up six times. Well, I don't think that'll happen, but get as close as we can. I think the problem with trying to do hordes at the horde base is that all we get are monsters now and monsters are hard to kill and I don't think they give you like a proportional amount of XP, you know? I think it just gives you maybe a little bit more than what a regular gives you, so we really want to be out here killing regulars, I think. We'll go with a quantity over quality approach. Okay, that was easy. Got into this for a thousand bucks. Oh, hello. Into the security room here. The only loot that I think I really need right now would be electrical parts. I looked at the recipe last night for... What was it? Energy cells? You gotta start making those. Yeah, oh, look at that. That's 50. Flat right off the bat. 57. Okay. I can even get a lot off of the lights. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe I'll spend a little bit of time here harvesting electrical parts, because... It's not that they're difficult to make, it's just that they're time consuming to make. I set up the workbench today before I left and um, what was it? I made like 2000 or something like that. I even had the nerdy glasses on for the little bit of a speed boost, boost there. 20, 20%, 10% maybe. And um, yeah, it was still gonna take like, I think it was 120 minutes, so two days to complete. So in other words, we gotta get them wherever we can at this point. Up to 139, just like that. Oh, hello. <laughs> Things are so colorful these days. It's like I'm on an acid trip. Okay, and that's my second treasure map that I've pulled out this morning. I'm just reading them all at this point. The, the map is just peppered with treasure maps. They're all over the place. And unless they have electrical parts, there's really nothing in them that I need. Whoa. Oh, there's a- oh crap. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> no, it got me after all. I was like, hey, they almost tried to make me fall here. And they made me fall. All right, just doing my best to, to not fall victim to some kind of a trap here because uh, I, I don't quite know the layout. I guess just follow the boards and stuff. Oh, we got birds. Watch out for that. Well, a bird, I guess. Oh, yeah, this is where things get really weird, though, isn't it? Where everything's on its side. So we're going down, down and back, or nope. Here we go. Oh, look out. He's a shooter. There we go. Got him stunned. I'm telling ya. The nickel cadmium battery. Best mod. I do have to find a supply satchel in this mess somewhere, and I also have to kill every single zombie. Whoop. That could have been a trap right there. Who's here? Let me guess. Treasure map. Oh, no. Wow, really nice loot bag there. It's so funny. When, it, when you spear the zombie, you, you have such, like, penetration that uh, oftentimes I'm, I'm just trying to stab zombies and I end up getting a whole bunch of like stone and clay in my inventory because I'm actually like hitting the stuff behind the ground. Oh, look at that, a college jacket, another one. Getting lucky, that's like two in three days. I can get in here though, I can squeeze my- oh, look at that. 
Hello there. Yes, <laughs> I got them both. I bet that was some kind of a trap waiting for me here. It was. Another treasure map, what'd I say? Oh, look, it's just like Inception here. You got like a staircase, but it's, it's all weird. Here we go. Got a lumberjack here somewhere. There he is. Regular old rads. No threat here. Oh shoot, I, I've not been really looking and paying attention to where my satchel is. It is pretty close by here though. I should be, there it is. Got it. Okay, we're halfway done. Wow, I got 14 electrical parts off of this? This thing is gold. Yeah, a couple hundred already just since I've been here and I don't even think, do I have like salvage operations maxed out? I don't even think I'm close to that. That is a part of the mechanic class. Yeah, salvage ops only got two points in that. I gotta save the points that I have though because if we level up, let's see, we are at, I think we need the six levels. Yes, we're 119, we need 125. So the next six levels, I need to save my skill points because I will need five to get the last or the next point, I should say, into technology crafting. Okay, and uh, what's going on up here? Because it's awfully quiet and I can see loot chests. And is this pretty much it? Nope, nope, I can see a lot of, oh, there they are. They're coming out of the other side there. Oh, and I've become surrounded. Luckily, there's no demons up here. Got spitters though. Oh, that was a narrow miss. All right, a couple more hits and I should have this. And we're good. Yes, area clear, supplies retrieved, we're done. Just scoop up these couple of loot bags here, not too bad. I didn't bring any good food with me today, so we're on our own in terms of loot stage. And let me pick into this real quick. I think I've broken like maybe 10 lockpicks this entire game. Wow. Okay, the tier four loot chests are ridiculous compared to like a tier three. <laughs> Jeez, it's a lot of stuff. Two more treasure maps. Okay, well, I guess we're done here. It's time to head home, check on the crafting situation, and um, yeah, probably start base repair. Maybe I'll scoop up a few more electrical parts while I'm right here. Okay, nice, I can parkour my way down, no problem. I do see an ATM over there. I'm not sure if I hit that up because I know we've done the parking garage. I have not hit this up before. Total of $1,200, not bad. All right, hopping in the chopper and I'm getting out of here. I'll meet you back at the base. Okay, when I designed this helipad, I did not make it very big. So it's a bit of a challenge getting this thing in here, but look at that, perfect landing. Okay, let's take a, take a look at the loot haul here. I did pick up some chili dogs and an advanced insulated liner for my quest reward. And I got another infestation out somewhere. I have noticed that the titanium spears now have a sell value, although it doesn't appear to be very much. Let's check the level 80 that I, 105, are you kidding me? This is like the coolest weapon ever and it's like not worth anything. Well, <laughs> whatever, I'll continue with trying to collect as many level 80s as I can anyway. All right, let me get this stuff put away then. In fact, I might just stash it in there and go through it a little bit later. And for now, where did I make those broadcasting upgrades? Right there, four, no, I got six of them and four spotlights, which we'll hook up a little bit later on. So what I can do now is just uh, right click and upgrade some of these things. These are just dump chests over here, so don't need those. We'll take the fridge, we'll take the uh, the cab. What's in here anyway? Okay, like bowls and stuff like that. So yeah, upgrade that. What do we got? Two more? One more? Um, let's go. I guess this, the gun safe, because it has parts and stuff in it. This is just ammo over here. I don't think, well, we have like gunpowder, I guess, but uh, maybe I'll get one more because <laughs> it shouldn't be too hard right now. I should just be able to go broadcast upgrade and um, no, no, it's not working. Do I have to maybe something has to reset maybe? I don't know. It doesn't work. It says it allows it to broadcast their storage to most workstations, but maybe not all of them. I don't see that it's working at all because like none of these things um, are lighting up for me. Okay, well, I, maybe maybe that's a bust. Maybe we gotta wait for that to kick in a little bit. Uh, I, I don't know. Moving on to something else then. More concrete mix. And there's 400 concrete blocks. That is definitely not gonna be enough. Uh, I do have 400 cobblestone blocks, which we could maybe do a little bit of fill work here and there with that. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably the best idea. I'll even just bring some of the mix with me. Actually, I don't have much mix, do I? Well, 
Yeah, because I was thinking one of the ways we can try to level up a little bit would be upgrading blocks, but um, yeah, we I haven't really been making materials for a couple of days now because we kind of like quote unquote finished the base and then destroyed it. Okay, what's going on down here anyway? We we got a lot of work to do just to clean this place up. Okay, well like places like this back here, I can just kind of fill it in with whatever. I'm not too terribly concerned about what material because <laughs> apparently it's just going to get destroyed no matter what. And I'll work on getting all of this stuff upgraded to steel before the next horde night. All right, this is where it begins back here. We got to clear out all this rubble. This is not going to hold up against any sort of a blast, so get rid of it. Then I'm going to anything that's like deeper than the face of the wall. I'm just going to patch that in with cobblestone, and then the actual front face I will do with concrete. However, you no, know, I would really like to get it upgraded to steel before the next horde, just in case we have like another demo heavy wave with mutated demos. I think it'll hold up a little bit better. Also really got to start working on the wellness. I'm down to like 220 wellness. So I'm taking vitamins, I'm taking orange juice, I'm taking food. And then up here at the top, we've been talking about this for quite a long time. It's time to do the pad installation project. I really need topsoil or clay soil anyway for steel and titanium and bullet casing production and everything else that clay goes into. So we're probably gonna have to not only rip all this out, but <laughs> rip out a whole other section in the forest somewhere to get the clay soil we'll need. Okay, I've, I'm fresh out of concrete shapes. So what I'm gonna transfer over to now is setting up these spotlights and grabbing up a wire tool so that I can reconnect those. I'd say we were pretty lucky with the spotlights up until the screamer fest <laughs> that we had there. Oh, and I need to, um, I need to be able to see what I'm doing here. Yeah, just, uh, set that in there. And then we lost the couple that were up here. And so I've, um, I've got on face rotation active for these. So I just, um, slap those right on the wall. No big deal. And I think how I've been wiring these. Yeah, I've just been kind of daisy chaining them around. So there we go. And <laughs> look at all the turrets. I can't see a damn thing because of all the turrets. The cones are all overlapping. I mean, we got nine turrets over there right now, so. It's not surprising. Okay, there we go. We got lights on that side. And we have lights on this side. Okay, we're good. Okay, we just need to get some more material. This will be a project for tomorrow. That's going to require probably a few hundred shapes to get this all fixed up. And then probably right before the horde, the day before the horde or the day of, we'll do like a final pass for repair work, upgrades, and paint. I do think it's time to get some more materials crafting though. More forged titanium, followed by more forged steel, more concrete mix, more concrete blocks. And we'll need more electrical parts for this though. I'll wear the nerdy glasses. That gives me a 10% reduction there because these are really the biggest bottleneck for me right now. Let's see, oh. Can I get these going in two different workbenches? Oh, that really cuts down on things. In fact, this one here is three seconds versus the four that we're used to. So yeah, 26 minutes and we can get a few hundred of those. There we go. I've got them divided between these couple of workbenches here now. Okay, time to get some... Whoa, there's some uh, cornmeal sitting in there. Some tomato juice. How many of those can we get? 26 held back by the tomatoes. Let's go 20 then. And with that, I think we're about ready to head out. I'm gonna grab just an extra stack of ammo just in case and lock that up. And I'll grab some repair kits also just in case. Should probably just have those permanently in an inventory slot. Can I do vitamins again? Yeah, it's time. There we go, extra wellness. And uh, what's the status on the buggy here? Still, well, actually, Pretty much almost ready. That's gonna require some wheels and a battery though. And I think I'd like to get an off-road headlight while I'm at it. What's that gonna take? Just probably some iron and stuff. Okay, there we go. There's all my buggy parts. So make me the buggy, then make me the off-road headlights and the supercharger will be done in a couple of minutes. I think I'll wait for that. I'd like to take that out with us tonight for some raiding and hopefully leveling up because it's been a pretty dry day so far. I think I'll look into getting some of my armor upgraded or at least repaired in the meantime. Oh geez, that crap. I can hear a whole bunch of zombies running over here. Hold up, hold up. Okay, we got to get into position here. There's a horde. Okay, inside. Bring them up on the left side today and shut down the other two. Hey, over here, you guys. Yeah, here we go. A bunch of regulars. Oh, we're going to level up too, for sure. Nice. This has got to be the most ridiculously soft horde I've ever seen in my life. Like, just purely regular zombies. Thank you for the loot bags, though. Appreciate it. Just turned nightfall. Was that it? Oh, look at the loot bags over here. Wow. 
Okay, I just snagged them all up as fast as I could, and... Jeez, look at the bodies here. Is there anyone left? I could have sworn I heard someone pounding on steel. I guess not, fair enough. So, we did get some just regular scrap machetes. Yeah, whatever. Okay, let's go fix our armor up. Boots up to 62. Helmet up to 64. Gloves up to 67. Armor is looking pretty good if we could just get some more power armor. Is that craftable? It must be craftable. Technology crafting, of course. That's what we're trying to get anyway, so... Yep, it's gonna be a while. Okay, the buggy is ready and all modified up, so we can drop that in. Turn the off-road headlights on. Eh, pretty narrow cone there, but it's bright enough, so let's open her up and refuel. Only takes 3,000 fuel, so... I don't know, we'll see about getting a fuel saver for it if it turns out to be a gas guzzler. But, whoa, look at the speed. <laughs> oh, this is fun. Whoop, didn't take long to get here, especially with this thing. Gotta be real careful, yeah. Good thing we have the repair kits, too, because this thing... <laughs> at full speed, I bet if you crash into a wall, it's just completely destroyed. Just boom. Up in a cloud of smoke. Get out of here. Okay, here we go. This is the smaller of the savage countries, but it just means it's like a more... More, um, you know... Population density is higher, I guess. Okay, yes, we gotta be careful here too. We don't want to call in any screamers tonight, but we do have a fast getaway in case that does happen. Whoop, okay. Got a zombie there. This is where I wish I would have carried the titanium crossbow with me, but that's not what I did. So wake him up. Whoop, demon over there, demon over here. Demons everywhere, holy crap. Football player too, okay, outside. Yep, roll with melee as much as you can. Try not to lose any more wellness. So far, so good here. Didn't have any rocket shooters. Always a good thing. What'd you leave for me so far? Silver nuggies, nice. Who's that lurking around over there? Soldier and uh, some other guy. Come on over here, I can't have you clogging up my tires if I try to make a fast getaway out of here. Thank you. He left me a pickaxe and some nails, and that guy looks like he hasn't worked a day in his life. Okay, the uh, the front section's clear. The, the the first... Wait, didn't they fall? Yeah, they fell down from the skylight there, so that part's clear. But the intermediate part here is definitely not clear. Lots of demons in here. And really, Hazmat Man, whether you're demonic or not, doesn't much matter. He's a huge threat, because he can spit, you know? And blow up. Did you wake up your friends? You did. Good, thank you. Appreciate that. And I guess we can proceed with just melee here. Two grain alcohol. All right, I guess I'll loot as I go. I didn't bring anything to help my loot. Uh, the loot's really not important to me at this stage, unless I start finding power armor. I'm not sure if, um, if I'll find it in a place like this, or is that like, you know, Horde Knight, <laughs> radiated behemoth type of loot or what? All right, who's in here? Come on out. Whoop, crap, bad miss there. Sometimes the spear can be unforgiving like that. There we go, I think I just kind of bled them out. Okay, let's clear out the other bathroom side over here, because... Oh, <laughs> I was gonna say, there's always someone back here, obviously. Someone trying to spit at me. Or shoot rockets. I guess it's the latter. I wonder if that generates heat. Oh, hello. Nothing from you, please. Okay, was that it? Did... Did this guy over here kill all of his friends? Were you alone up there or what? Can't see. Whoa, look out. Okay, on to the final battle then, which will be this group. Okay, well, that was easy. <laughs> Come on out here, whoever I've stirred up. A few of them are still sleeping, I think, back there. Nice. Line them right up here. This is what the spear and AP ammo was made for. Too easy. Oh, there's some roast dinner there for me, too. Let's just take that for the wellness, then. Not particularly hungry, but I'm trying to bulk up, you know. Yeah, three, four guys left back there, it looks like. Let's just, um... Try to kill that guy. So he's not as much of a problem. Didn't work, though. Oh! He's gonna... S crap! Ow! Who did that? <laughs> Spider, and he bled out promptly afterward. Yeah, we, we don't want this guy to blow up, really make a mess of everything and probably call in a screamer. Oh, s speaking of, where is she? Is she on the other side of that door? Crap, um, I can flank her if I go this way. Where'd she go, where'd she go? Oh, that opened all of the doors, so now we're doing like ring around the doorway. Okay, it wasn't a screamer anyway, just her. 
Sometimes they make the same noises, so get a little paranoid. That was it, though. Quest is over, just time to loot up. Into the main chest here for- see what I mean? See, this tier 3 chest has, like, nothing. The tier 4 chest we got earlier today had, like, two and a half rows of items. Oh well, maybe we just need to start doing tier 4s more often. Otherwise, just a couple of Savage Country boxes with titanium sledgehammers, I guess. Okay, all set here. We're about to level up. That's gonna be... Uh, 121, which will mean four more to go thereafter. Let's just poke in somewhere here and, uh, and kill the zombies. And, um, see if we can level up. Where, where can we find a lot of zombies? You need to find, like, um, a crack -a tower. And then just bust into the basement there and kill, like, the 30 zombies that hang out down there. That would do it. Well, we're pretty close to downtown. Let's go look around. And hit this ramp here full speed. Whoa! <laughs> oh, nice. That's fun. Just I kind of can't wait for daylight. It's hard to see with this narrow cone of of headlight here. Whoop. Yeah, I've lost 20% on the vehicle already. <laughs> oh, this bowling alley here has a room that we can break into real fast. It's like the, the main loot area. It's like literally right here. I can just rip right in here. Well, that's a little bit easier. Whoa! Heard some glass breaking. Was that zombies? Oh, jeez. I think they're kind of all over the place here. Uh, oh. They were like on the rooftop or second level at least. Okay, inching closer. I found some dynamite there. That's fun. <laughs> I'm too chicken to use it though because it'll just, you know, increase the heat. Really? The screamers? Screamers are the only threat right now. The only thing I'm worried about. Yep, there's the loot over there. It's a tier four loot. Good. So we can have a few zombies here to kill. Spitter! Ow. Took that directly on the chin. Another one right on my face. Stop doing that, please. There we go. Got my level up, finally. And that was the last zombie as well. We can do another little quick loot up here. You can see if the loot pattern holds and these tier fours have a bunch of better loot. But look at that! That's crazy! <laughs> Way more loot in these. Okay, so we'll be focusing on uh, tier fours and fives from now on. But we gotta do a tier five. We should do a tier five anyway, because that'll help me level up. Got about an hour or so until daylight, so I'm just gonna putt around and see if I can find anything else kind of like that. Oh, hello? What are you doing? Hey, get away from the buggy. Oh, there's the crack -a book right there. I found it. I was just about to say, um... It's nice to get back on the ground again after being in the helicopter for so long. Kind of do a little bit of ground and pound, you know? All right, how's the storage on this? Not too shabby. Just pack away whatever I can there and scoop this stuff up. We're gonna hit the... just the main loot. Well... There's a lot of zombies that are just kind of... up all through this place, basically. Maybe we run through here. See what we can do. Um, take a moment, though. Pause. Drink some stuff. Take some vitamins. Working on the wellness here. I think we're doing really good, too. We are up to... Uh, 267. All right, here it is. This is... There's a ton of zombies that just, like, are in here, so... Wake them up. And bring them back over to the window, where I can properly use armor penetration. Yeah, look at them all. A whole bunch of them. Here we go. Over to the sphere now. They can't get through here, because I have the shocking power. <laughs> Oh, got one in here. Just stab him in the legs. They're bleeding out now. Bleeding or shocking or both. Okay, I think we're good here. Two more treasure maps. The one guy that's not a businessman finally gets through and radiates me. That's nice. Here, give me some radiation pills. Look at the mess in here. All right, first aid kit behind that. See, that probably... I probably lost wellness just doing that already. More treasure maps. And I think it... It's about to crack morning, too, because it's starting to get a little bit brighter out. That's always nice. Oh, <laughs> look at the treasure maps, man. <laughs> read them all, read them all. We're gonna just, you know, wherever we go to dig here in a couple weeks, it's gonna be treasure. In fact, there's actually one. It's not letting me read that, because I already have it, but, I mean, look, look at this. I've already, I've got like a hundred maps out here. Crap, I did get an infection, too. Kind of a bummer. It's like the opposite of what I'm trying to do with my wellness. Is there another whole crew up here, or... Did we already take care of this crew? Yep. Found him. See, this is this is more fun to me than in fighting 
demons and or not really the demons. Demons are fun to fight too, but um, the monsters, man. Because I like to be able to just do melee. There we go. Okay. Oh, wow. Hello. Goodbye. Take care of you. Yeah, where do I go from here? Now I got an abrasion. Okay. <laughs> this is not working out in my favor, is it? I think we're onto the rooftop from here. If I could figure out how to get there. Here it is. All right. Start off with that bird there and just kind of get me out here so I can see what's in front of me. There we go. Bird down. There we go. Another perfect position here. Get them all lined up in front of me. Whoops. Okay, okay. I'm getting out of here now. Oh no, I've fallen off the side of the building. <laughs> that means probably the, the zombies are going to chase after me. Here, get back up here. Oh crap. They're going all over the place now. I guess I'll catch up with them downstairs. Okay, doing good. I'm about to level up again. That guy's going to go down below here in a second. Oh, they've, they've actually cycled back up here themselves, which is always handy. Hey, just got like a... What was that? Oh, the meat bolognese. I guess there's some controversy about how you pronounce that. Um, bolognese versus bolognese. Bolognese. Okay, so we'll have something tasty to eat for wellness and for loot bonus once we get to the bottom. And I think... Is it just around here and into the elevator? Is that how it used to go? Yeah, here we go. Whoops. I woke somebody up here somewhere. Um... Where are you guys? Oh, this is unlocked. Here we go. Please don't explode. Right, we're back down to this level. Okay, so we gotta do the whole run around over here. Starting to get a lot of demons now. That one's gonna blow up. Oops! Right in my face. Nasty. And from here, it's down to the lower level to do basically the same exact thing all over again. <laughs> I just stand up. Oh, did I sprain my arm? I sprained my arm? Dang it. Yeah, because now my power attacks are hurting me. Yeah, parkour is just the greatest, isn't it? <laughs> just turns this into a whole different game. All right, we want that kill, not the spikes. Thank you. Oh, I'm hurting myself pretty bad. I do have plenty of first aid, though. Whatever, we're about to hit the main loot stash anyway, and in that case, I'm going to gather everyone up together and kill them with the coil carbine. I think that is... Is this... Is this new? Oh, I've woken everyone up. We gotta proceed now. <laughs> Don't ask any more questions. Okay. Carefully hit that button and bring them out here. Oh my god, Radiated Behemoth is among the main loot people here. That's fun. Yeah, we're just gonna kite them around the building. Best we can, at least. Oh my god, Broodmother, or the little one. What's the little one? The mutated spider, they call it. Yeah, we're definitely going to encounter a screamer at this rate. Holy crap, she's back. She's down, though. Took her out. Okay, we're doing fine here. Just continue running laps. Usually works out just fine. Might even be able to switch back over to the melee a little bit. Now that they're all kind of spread out. Here's the Biker Book Club. Always faithful. You always... Oh my god! Freaking cop demon there. Okay, doing fine, doing fine. The sprain is holding me back, but only just a little bit. Empowered demon biker here. Oh, watch out. He's gonna... <laughs> He's gonna spit. Okay. I think I've stabbed the, uh, the cop there enough. Maybe not. Yeah, he's regenerating. Scratch that. Get a couple of stabs in. And come on. We're doing good here. Watch that cop. Got him. All right. Get up there. We got to close the distance. He's still regenerating. The spear is not enough. Or it's not left. Come on, man. Get him out. There we go. Got him. I think we're pretty much good here now. Whew. I'm all tensed up now. Need a massage or something. Just in cleanup mode now. Got another one alive. I think the rest of them are probably down here. Thrashing around on my loot. Nope. No one's in the loot room. Okay, at this point then, I think I'm ready to loot up. Whoop. Still got a demon down here. Oh, crap. I 
think that was everyone. I do hear a dog, though. Dogs I can live with. Let's go with beer. Beer is good for drinking, good for wellness, and uh, the meat bolognese, or bolognese. However, depending on what country you're from, probably. Whoop, look out. Ah! Jeez, man. Okay, we are in. With maximum loot stage, we get two and a half rows of stuff. Lots of kind of junk ammo, lots of first aid kits. Stuff we don't need, ultimately. Herbal antibiotics should stave off the infection, which is currently 10%. Oh my god, books. Lots and lots of books. Okay, while we have the looting bonus benefit, I would like to... Whoops. Oh, that was a roll of paper. Nice. I'd like to get upstairs because I left all the loot bags up there. Oh, here we go. Surprisingly, did not get a screamer after all that. I was doing well and just kind of focusing again on the, uh, the melee there and not on the guns. Okay, that was a pretty great success there. I think we've achieved our goal of both leveling up and getting some loot today. Just stash what I can in there. Excuse me. And um, I do need to level up here. Oh, geez, the Shaka Messiah. That would have a ton of zombies in it. Also, Deshong Tower. Yeah, I want to level up one last time before I head back to the base today. Oh, jeez, look how fast this is. This is insane. I really don't want to go into Shaka Messiah, though, because once I start that, it's like, it's a whole can of worms. So, let's proceed in this direction and see what I can find. Ah, the Shaka Messiah shooting range. That would be a good one. Here, what we'll do is we'll just kind of scale the fence here. Whoop, up we go, up we go. And... Yeah, being here should wake everybody up. All right, everyone, come on out here. Let's dance. There it is, just leveled up, killing the last couple of zombies there. Well, since I'm here, you know, <laughs> I can't leave this behind. I'll probably have to leave a lot of it behind, but not all of it. Okay, that will have to do it, I think. Okay, let's get, let's get out of here. Oh, geez, it's just loot. Everywhere you turn, there's loot. Good enough. I think we're down to, what, maybe two or three levels to go until we can get the technology crafting that we need? That's fine. We'll get there eventually, I'm sure. Maybe we'll do some mining. We're gonna need more steel. Yeah, this is dangerous. Very dangerous. Whoop. There we go. Okay, back at the base, safe and sound, all organized and everything's done and put away. <laughs> My sprained arm is gonna last 107 hours, so let's go ahead and put a splint on that to fix it. Of course, we do need to take a moment here to eat some good food, though. Oh, sham chowder. I don't think that's one of, like, the highest tier of food, but uh, I'll eat one anyway for the wellness. I'll also have a tomato juice, a beer, and a vitamin. Well, 251. I I'm going backwards. This is crazy. <laughs> no. What I need to do for now is some mining. We are going to need more steel. We're sitting on 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, about 2,500, 2,900 there, and they're... Should have been a few rolling in there as well. I don't know, is that gonna be enough, do you think? I mean, that's that's a lot of steel upgrades there. And I'm not really gonna upgrade any portions of the base to titanium other than the fighting positions, which kind of reminds me, I did wanna, I did wanna kind of rip these out the same way we did this one and replace some of the shapes. I don't know, These the fight, this front fighting position has held up remarkably well so far. I'll decide on that later. For now, we're gonna need a lot more concrete. 632 more shapes, and with the 200 or so that I have over here, I think that'll be enough to patch everything up. Yeah, I suppose let's do, let's do some iron mining, because we're gonna need some more forged iron to make the electrical parts, so wouldn't hurt to have a surplus of a couple 10, 20, 30, 50, 90,000 iron. I'll just bring this over for a quick getaway because I'm sure we're going to need to <laughs> use this. Here we go. Just park it, uh, park it right here so I can get a head start out of here when I need, when the time comes. All right, and so it begins. Things are looking okay up there topside, but just as they did the last time, it's only two blocks high, so screamers can leap over the side. They climb on their friends' heads and then jump on in and then scream, and then that's our cue to stop mining and get out of here. I think this time, though, I'm going to attempt a strategy where I actually go topside and kill the Screamers as I hear them. Should have probably brought my junk turret. That would probably make short work of Screamers, wouldn't it? Another time, perhaps. Okay, there we go. I think that'll actually do it. Somebody's decided to start digging a hole up here. Don't do that, please. 
think I got away with that one scot-free. Okay, time to get some clay soil now. I'm gonna go off in the distance just a little bit and start kind of carving my way down to the stone layer. <laughs> I kind of ironically, I've carved myself into a portion of iron mine. Doesn't matter, I'm just gonna rip as much clay soil out of here as I possibly can. The great thing is this is not generating any heat whatsoever. As long as I hold down the trigger on the auger, it's not generating any extra heat. It's only the activation, the startup. Okay, I'm inching my way up to 50,000 clay soil. I think that's a good stopping point, so I'm just gonna be here for a couple of more minutes. All right, there we go. Quite a crater here. Watch where you're driving. God, because I'm not doing anything to patch that up. Okay, back to the base now to stash all this stuff away. Whoa, this goes so fast. That was an excellent resource harvest right there. Before I even throw it away, let's go ahead and just crank out 10,000 forged steel. And that was pretty much the sum total of everything I mined. Yeah, the rest, we don't need this much iron. We only need a couple hundred iron and give me that back. And then we'll do forged iron with the rest. Another thousand or so of that. How are we looking on the electrical parts here? Done and done. Okay, that's a lot. So what did we need? It was um, the enriched uranium. I've made up as much of that as I can almost. And oh, the forged titanium, right? That's why I made all that titanium. Okay, well, give me all that. Energy cells. Start working on these craft in groups of 20. Okay, so that's going to be 5,000 rounds, which you would think would be about... I'd like to have at least 6,000, if not 10,000, so... We got a ways to go there. We have the uranium. We're just looking for more electrical parts. Those were just the electrical parts that we just made. I still have a ton in the inventory. So yeah, now we're still going to be held back by uh, electrical parts, but that gives us another 2,500. Wellness break, chili dog, orange tea, vitamin, beer. All right, cranking on as many electrical parts as I can. We're just waiting for forged iron now. Plenty more rolling in. We will be ready. We need two more levels and I'm, geez, I'm close. Okay, we gotta go level up. We gotta get this done tonight. <laughs> it's so tempting to do another screamer thing because they, you know, they just get delivered straight to you, but uh, the base just can't handle it right now. All right, I guess we're heading out again. Where are the most zombies? Maybe we go check with Trader Hugh real fast and get another quest. That way we can get the quest reward XP as well. I just took out that lamppost and uh, I think it was like 6% off the top there. Yeah, we'll, we'll check in on Trader Hugh. We got a quest reward to get from him anyway. All right, buddy. Let's see how much XP we get here anyway. Well, no we loitering. get 7,000. That's not, not a lot, but I'll take the orange tea because that we can drink that for some more. And a sell-off actually would net us quite a bit of XP, wouldn't it? Okay, a new job then. The Olgady and Brother Advertising. Where is that? Oh, right close by. All right, let's go do that. We'll do that and then we'll do a sell-off and hopefully that'll net us all the XP that we need. All right, this is the spot. Pretty close by. And yeah, I, I recognize this place. Let's hit it. And that's it. Not much in the loot here so far, just the same old junk that we always get. Let's crack into the big chest and see what's in there. Okay, lost two lockpicks in the process, but worth it, because that's a lot of loot there. And we almost did get the level up. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, there's another cracker book there. I leveled up, it worked. I can't even see who I'm stabbing. Here, start shooting instead. There we go. That's working. This is a pile of loot bags in front of me. Okay, back to the sphere then. All demons. Pretty much straight demons and empowered zombies here. Not empowered, but tough. Whoop! Oh, he shoved me off. Okay, that, this is the last guy for that level. And I've halfway leveled up, so let's try the basement portion and see where that lands me. Hold the line here. In fact, I'll, I'll do it with the spear as much as I can. We got a pretty good opportunity here. 
until the radiated titans arrive. Although, it kind of doesn't look like he can get out of there, so this might work out after all. Working well so far. First mag dump is good. Lost a cop there. And that does it for the zombies. That titan, though, is a different story. All right. Bring it on, buddy. Oh, <laughs> what happened? He took over a loot bag like I did? He almost died, too. There we go. He's done. And we've managed to clear out another cracker book without really even taking a scratch. Oh, we got more, though. Don't buy smoke too soon. Ah! Oh, no, the screamer. Oh, no. Well, so much for getting the loot out of here. We've got to get out of here now. Yeah, we can't hold against screamer hordes. And there they are over there. They're kind of spawning in slowly. Oh, I hear a bird that could be a hell pigeon. No, thank you. I oh, crap. I will get the remaining XP that I need at the traders. Oh, we got a brood mother over here. Quickly then, into the buggy, and let's get out of here. Look out, buddy. Okay, I've returned back to the base, and you know the drill here. We gotta get everything together and combined, at least so that we don't have to make a trip to like six different traders to sell all this stuff. Kinda get it consolidated and upgraded as much as possible. And with the titanium plated armor, I'll combine that with the armor that I'm wearing to see how much further we can start boosting that. Oh geez, yeah, I'm just kind of on the tail end of this project here, and I can hear thrashing, which means that there's a horde out here somewhere. And they're in this direction over here, so I'm gonna spin up that flank side. Did anybody hear that? Yeah, I can see them. They, there they are. You can see them running that way. They always like to hang out. <laughs> over there on that side of the garden like oh jeez oh my god this just got serious got it oh my god this is going poorly already here douse me out and um there we go okay <laughs> they're killing themselves no we could possibly level up right here right now um on second thought though i kind of don't want to be here if you guys are just going to be shooting can you please stop doing that this wandering horde here is not as soft as the last one was all right, let me outside before they blow up in my garden or something. Get away from the trees and stuff, guys. Yes, we are just, oh, they're in the garden. Yep, they broke in, let them out. We're gonna level up here in just a second and then we're gonna take technology crafting and then we're gonna make ourselves a coil carbine. But I'm still gonna have to go to the trader. A bunch of freeloaders over here trying to steal my vegetables. There we go, got the level I needed, whoa. Okay, got quite a group here. AP rounds were built for groups and straight lines, though. And I think we're done. Whoop, we still got some runners way over there. That's a screamer! Hold up, hold up, hold up. And open fire. Oh, that might have just pissed her off a little bit. Keep shooting. Oh, no! That was, that's an official scream. Okay, just run. Just run. I don't think they know where we are. Yes, yeah, so, whoop. Yep, radiated behemoth, behemoth, two behemoths. Oh boy. What do you say we just go to the trader? <laughs> I think that sounds like a good idea. Oh geez, I just ran right through a node and took off another 20% here. <laughs> you just gotta have repair kits if you wanna have a supercharged buggy. Good evening, Hugh. Well, I guess you Glad you're up so late tonight. You I'll take... Louder. You tried like, we can do the rocket the launcher dead. and see if we can combine it with the one that we have and a... I guess a fireman's axe head mod. Haven't seen that one yet. Oh, inventory needs to be cleared up. How's that? Is that better? Sure. All right, sell off. Got to be a little bit careful. There's some stuff in here that I want to save. Most notably my titanium plated armor, robotic turret, and that coil carbine that's up there. Okay, that'll do it. Let's head back to the base and see if that's all cleared out yet. See how much damage that takes off. 10% to hit a zombie. You can get some, um, there's one like armor, whoops, gonna take another, oh geez, that was actually kind of brutal. I can't see him until the last minute and I don't have my repair kits on me. Okay, don't, just go slow. <laughs> don't hit anything on the way home now. All right, here we are, rolling back up. See any activity around here or what? Yeah, they were all kind of on this side before. I think they're gone. I think they've dispersed. All right, let's wrap things up here. So we should have leveled up enough. We're 125 now, so we can go into technology crafting and use five of our seven points to unlock level three, which will unlock the laser carbine, shotgun, all the appropriate parts in a thermal cooling mod, which I've already looked up, and also the laser shotgun turret. 
I've looked that up. The thermal cooling reduces the amount of heat that is generated by your weapon. So that's a that's a definite yes on that one. We will be needing that. Okay, the laser carbine stuff. It's uh, raw uranium and raw titanium, it appears. Wow. Okay, look at the steel. <laughs> I think we have plenty of that now. All right, so we're going to need a laser barrel receiver stock. I like how that just takes uh, zero seconds to make. I think we'll probably also need the laser weapon parts. I'm actually gonna need to make a lot of these. Resources will become a factor though. So one, two, three, that's another. And um, whoops, I ran out because actually the laser weapon parts require a ton more titanium. So I might have to see if I can sc scrap a little bit of this titanium, the forged titanium here. Really all I'm using that for was the, uh, the energy cells. Is that going to give you some titanium back? Oh, a lot, in fact. And just cracked morning. There we go. It's done. We are out of the coil carbine era, and we are into the laser carbine era. It's just bright because the uh, the helicopter light shines down in here. Yep, turned that off and reload. I'll get some mods dressed up on this. We'll get a little bit of rest. We'll, uh, we'll do our wellness check, have some beer and everything. <laughs> and we'll pick things up in a couple of hours where we'll be basically just rebuilding the base. Hey everyone, I just wanted to say thank you for watching, for leaving a like, but most of all, thank you to the long list of amazing supporters that you see right here. I hope this episode has earned your subscription, and I can't wait to show you the next one. Best wishes to all, and goodbye.